right. So you're telling me it smells like cigarettes in this room and you don't know why it smells like cigarettes? Well, that wasn't there before you came in. So it was you. What are you lying to me for? Mom's gonna go crazy. Let's spray something that stinks. that I am going to be pranking Millie and it's gonna be a successful prank. I'm not gonna let this one flop. It's getting pathetic now that I can't prank my sister. I have been thinking of all different pranks I could potentially do on Millie and I've now nailed it down to one. Millie absolutely hates smoking. She hates cigarettes and anyone near her, she's always like, mm, with the smell. So I'm gonna pretend that I've taken up smoking and see her reaction. <laughs> So Millie's currently upstairs. She thinks that we are filming some TikTok campaigns today, but little does she know I'm about to win these prank wars. So I've just arrived here and there's literally no food in the house. And I said to Millie, you never ever have any food in this house. So I'm gonna pop to Tesco's and get some food. I'll explain it all in the car. So before you all come at me and say, I didn't know you could drive. I didn't know you had a car. It's not my car. Um, I'm just insured on it. I've just been to Tesco's to get some food. And a pack of cigarettes. How people can actually look at these cigarettes and want to smoke is beyond me. Like, the pictures on here, they're like disgusting. I'm sorry if people are watching and they absolutely love smoking. I just feel like it's so unhealthy for you. This is why Millie's gonna be so confused because like, I don't like smoking. It's probably one of her worst things. She hates smoking, she hates the smell of it. So she's gonna probably be so confused, probably just disappointed, full stop. The plan is to go inside, set up you guys wherever I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna hide you well. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Light a cigarette, let it like, burn for a little bit, let the smell come in, and hopefully Millie's not gonna come down while I'm doing all of this. I have no idea how she's gonna react, but I am so excited. Hey guys, before we start today's video, we wanna thank HelloFresh for being today's sponsor. So we've opened the box, and it literally comes with a step-by-step -step recipe, super, super easy to make. Let's give it a try. So we have decided to cook number 1A, honey drizzle bacon wrapped halloumi. That looks so good. I don't know if we'll be able to make it look like that, but we will try. Use this code on the screen right now and you can get a special discount on mine and Millie's behalf. I actually have been using HelloFresh for a couple of weeks now. It makes my life so much easier when I'm constantly on the go. Really, really easy to cook, especially if I get home late. I really, really recommend you guys try it out. <gasps> Look at that bacon. We give it a try. No. Oh. Oh my god, what, what is that? <laughs> this discount here, you gotta go get it. Right, now we have our bellies nice and full. Let's get back to our video. I've just got back now and I am literally so nervous. I could be sick. Um, I'm hoping she doesn't come down as I walk in. Oh my god, okay. Living room or kitchen, living room or kitchen. Right guys, you have been balanced between the sofa and the radiator. I've got my cigarette and I've got my lighter. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I found these for the candles. Um, I'm gonna light it. Obviously I'm not gonna inhale anything. I'm just gonna like drag it round. Right. How do I do this? How do you do this? Okay. <gasps> I don't know what I've done wrong, guys. Hold it like this. And then when she walks in, I'll let her like see it in my hand for a little bit and then I'll just chuck it. Or do I just chuck it? <gasps> also bought some chewing gums. Right, I've put my lipstick around the cigarette as well. She's gonna know a hundred percent that it was me. Wish me good luck. Why is that 
stink. Huh? Stinks. Mm-hmm. It's cold outside, isn't it? You don't know why it stinks. I don't know, I was gonna ask you the same thing. What do you mean? I was gonna ask you the same I've thing. I've been upstairs. I didn't smell like this before. I went to get food. Where'd you go? Tesco, as I told you. For food? Yeah, because there's nothing in the bloody house. Okay. So you're telling me it smells like cigarettes in this room and you don't know why it smells like cigarettes? What do you mean? Megan, there's literally a cigarette outside. Well, it's not mine. Why are you, why are you instantly thinking well, no one, one smokes here? I'm, I'm going to ask you the same thing. I didn't even see that. What is that? So you're telling me it's randomly appeared? Mill. I've never... I don't smoke, so do you. Have you been yeah, smoking? Yeah, but I have been upstairs the whole time and it stinks. Well, maybe it's yours. How is it mine? Well, it's not mine. I don't even live here. Well, that wasn't there before you came here. So you're obviously lying to me. Really? And there's literally lipstick on it. I don't smoke. Well, you... Well, then why does it smell? I don't know. It's not mine. It's not mine. So you don't need to worry about that. And more importantly, whose is it? You've got lipstick on as well. Yeah, but I've been upstairs the whole time. And, and I've been in the shop. When I just came in now, you were at the door. And I was... It was... Because I wanted to get fresh air. Oh. That's... Convenient. What? So before you leave, that's not there. And you magically... The house... Well, the house. The room stinks. Mm. And you're... Throwing something out, but it wasn't you. I'm not getting the blame for there being well, a cigarette Well, it's obviously you because no one else does it. I don't, I've never smoked. Well, it wouldn't just magically appear, Megan. It's not me. Well, it obviously is Megan because no one else has done it. <sighs> Megan, the lipstick's literally still on it. It hasn't been out there for time. I just, I've only had a few. So it was you. What are you yeah, lying to me for? I've only, I'm not. What are you lying to me for? Yeah, but I've been, like, loads, loads has been going on. And I just can't even explain to you how stressed I am. You know, smoking makes it worse. Because your brain will think it needs cigarettes and make you more stressed. I've only been doing it for like two weeks. You've been smoking for two weeks? Maybe a bit less. How's that a good influence on people? I know, I'm, not, I'm obviously going to stop doing it when I feel less stressed. But that's... <laughs> that's not, that doesn't make any sense because it doesn't help stress. Research it, it doesn't. It I makes know, it worse. I've just been like hanging around with a lot of people that do it as well. So like Who? Just like a few friends, old friends, and I've just been got in the habit of it. So how's that a good influence? It, I'm not saying it is. I'm not, that's why I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to get angry. Well, you did a pretty <laughs> sh job and not let me find out. Because mm -hmm. you're in my, where I live, and it stinks. I know, I'll, I'll make sure I spray something. Just don't tell anybody, don't tell them more. Yeah, but what if what if we're out and and one of our followers comes up to us and you're there with a cigarette? That's not a good influence. I just won't do influence. it. I just won't do it to anyone. I won't do it like go, go near anyone. No, you it. just shouldn't do it, end of. I know, but I feel like it's like helping me a lot. But it's not. It's like when people say alcohol makes them feel better, it doesn't. It makes you feel better while you're drunk, but in the long run it's bad for your health. Yeah. How is that good? Well, I'm not the only one that hates it. What's Josh going to say? I know. You didn't have to lie to me. I just didn't know what to say. Well, yeah, you didn't know what to say because you know it's bad. If you can't tell someone that you're really good friends with it, like me, or even your family, then you know it's wrong. Mm. If it was all right, if it was a good thing, you'd be able to tell people. But because you're hiding it, it's because you know it's bad for you. Well, you know now, mm, I, didn't, I didn't want to keep it for you. I didn't mean to not keep it for like, I'm, I've never like lied or done anything like that, so. Well, yeah, but that's not a good place to start. You're lying about something that's addictive and that people get ill over. You can get cancer over that. I know. I'm sorry, I don't mean to like. Well, don't apologise to me, because all it affects me is me smelling it. Mm -hmm. The only person you're affecting is yourself. Yeah, I know. Whatever, you do what you want at the end of your life. I'm just saying it's gross. And it's not a good influence on people. We make videos for people every day. Little girls look up to you and they're going to see that you're doing something that's not good for your health. I know, I don't even think about that. Well, I don't want you to like start hating me now and stuff like that. No, I'm not going to hate you. Ugh. Just don't tell anyone. I don't want anyone to I won't, know. but Josh will find out eventually. And then it's snaky you not telling him for anyone. Mum's going to go crazy. We've got stuff to do today. Like, I'm not going to let it affect our day and I'll deal with it in my, by myself. Well, open the eggs and we'll let spray something that stinks, please. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Guys, I think 
I took it too far. She's actually so annoyed. <gasps> you just went boring! <laughs> I'm joking. It's actually really ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, I got you so good though. You were so vexed. You were so angry. And my room, my living room stinks of an ashtray. She look gross as well. No, you don't. You're gorgeous. Well, yeah. Congrats. <laughs> I actually am still annoyed a bit. But I didn't really smoke it. Yeah, but my limb room still smells. I know, but I just put a bit of a reason there. I was so nervous as well. I was thinking, am I going to be able to pull this off? You I couldn't did. flop another time. I'm actually, you actually did. The last one you flopped hardcore. I'm so happy. Yeah, but that's the first prank of this year. So I usually prank you way better anyway. So let's see. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. Happy not because that's actually grow. So guys, we have just successfully accomplished a prank. Me and you guys. We do not want to forget to say Happy Valentine's Day for tomorrow. We hope you go, even if it's a Galentine's, yeah. or if you're with your man or woman, whatever it is, have the best day full of lots of love and positivity. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and you follow us on our TikTok. Okay, so here are the winners of this week's show up. Congratulations. If you want to be the next shout out in next week's video, make sure you comment the word prank. Also guys, make sure you comment down below what day you would like me and Megan to post throughout the week because it's the new year, new us, new content. So we're going to try and post two times a week. We might try and get an editor to help us because we're really slow with editing. That's <laughs> they why take up so much time. Throughout the week, we're always going to keep Sundays at 6.30 because that's been our that's thing our since thing. the start. Um, so yeah, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next week at 6.30. 6.30. Yeah.